Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. Next mission, Cove, Leper Armlet, Soldiers of Fortune. Everyone is, I think, kitted out how I want them, or how I can afford them, really. Can't even upgrade the Antiquarian or Occultist, but at least having the Antiquarian means we get a little bit more cash. We have seven grand, just under, to provision this mission into the Cove. Let's do it. Food, torches. We do hold on to the Aegis scale. Looks like you can't sell it either, which is fair. Bring along some keys, medicinal herbs. We have an we have a uh, an occultist, so I'm gonna bring bandages. I'm gonna bring shovels. Yeah, yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it. I could bring along like one holy water just in case we find a shrine that allows us to interact with it in some fashion. I don't think we need anti-venom. I don't think we need more bandages. I don't even think we need really three keys, but I'm gonna bring them along anyways. And then, I don't know, embark. Seems pretty good. Yes. Wait a minute. Minus accuracy, minus speed, minus stress, minus 10% stress for four battles. That's actually fine. I don't really mind those debuffs that much, especially if it's near the end of a mission. Let's embark. Because I can use medicinal herbs to get rid of those debuffs, I think. But minus five accuracy. For four battles, it does suck, but lowering stress is pretty good. Okay. Let's do it. I think we got this. It sucks bringing along an antiquarian, but we need the money. These salt-soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. They must be flushed out. And we have to go all the way up immediately to get to this room battle. But we have uh, max scouting thanks to our, uh, our lady here. I don't know if there's a way that you can see scouting actually in, in the map, but uh, our scouting is definitely up there. I mean, pretty freaking good if you ask me. The only thing with the Antiquarian is that we have to use her to interact with Curios to get the benefits of the Antiquarian, which is holding on to better, or finding Wealth better loot, e.g. the Minor Antiquities. The brave and the alike. When she interacts with the Curio, we get a Minor Antiquity, which gives us just more gold for free. So we're gonna do that whenever possible. The other benefit of having all of this, uh, 85%, 50, 60, well, 85 is good enough. Now, the other benefit of having all of this scouting is that we do have a better, a better chance, in theory, of getting a secret room. Because that is just a critical scouting success that finds it, and a critical scouting success increases as your scouting increases, so we should get more of those. I hope. So, the big thing here is stress, I feel. It's honestly pretty hard to hit the shaman in the back unless we're using the occultist and the hellion. So that's what they're going to be focusing on. The ground quakes. You love seeing the crits, even though it's unnecessary. But we're going to try. We could try a demon's pull. It's not guaranteed, but it's pretty likely. Or we could just go for the abyssal artillery into a wicked, not a wicked slash, an iron swan, which uh, is also pretty decent. Nine to eighteen. You have the damage buff. I'm going to go for it. A powerful blow. So Iron Swan should hopefully kill. Obliterated. Sweet. And then, and then you know we might be able to get the kill here. Do four damage. You're dead too. So two kills immediately is kind of nice. GT Quirk asks, in this game, are there ways to upgrade your carrying capacity? If you mean this inventory screen right here, the answer is no. Unless you mod your game. But that's cheating. Kind of. This that's enough damage. Death. I could have stunned this guy, but that's kind of why I brought along the barbaric. Yup! What? Just random ass crit from nowhere. Gotta do the heal now. Oh my god. It's like a no heal. You don't have. Oh, I didn't get. I still have if it bleeds. Okay, at least we learned that early. But I need to get that stun equipped. Not Bill Murray says the best way to increase your carrying capacity is to bring less stuff. Technically correct, the best kind of correct. A faint hope blossoms. Okay, we got a lot of stuff from that. Okay, you need to get your skills swapped out. Thank you very much. Forgot about that. 
Uh, and then Antiquarian opens this with a key. We get the extra Miner and Deke, and not much else, but oh well. All right, at least we found an extra two food and got rid of it immediately, but uh, that's a very early starvation prompt. We could do a lot of exploration here, you know, if we're feeling good about a couple of combats, stress is relatively low, we could do uh, that combat in these curios and then backtrack through the hallways. We got a lot of opportunities. I will shovel. That's why I bring along those barnacles. I will use this torch with the antiquarian, which is what you're supposed to do <laughs> to get the buff from her. Everything's good? Everything's good. All the abilities are set? Yes. I also love getting the surprise. I don't think scouting gives you any like additional surprise chance. I think it is just random. Occultist? Occultist! I can't hit you there! Oh, you're gonna get some attacks out, unfortunately. Um, we could do like a, a mark. Sorry, not a mark. Well, it is a mark. We could do like a mark on the abomination to give him the attacks so that if he gets stressed out, we can actually use him in order to cure his own stress, or we could just go for a hit, even though it's not likely to land, or do much damage, rather. I'm gonna do the guard. This might work. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, I'm not super happy with the outcome here, because the uh, the miss on the pull, it had a 90% chance of, of working, by the way. But the miss on the pull sucks, because it meant that we couldn't hit the Acolyte at all. These are good dodges, too. What is your dodge? His dodge is 36, not Bill Murray. You're the, the dodgiest man. God, that's such an overkill. But you haven't moved yet. Their formation is broken. Cork has, uh, Cork had one good turn, and since then, she's been struggling. Okay, so the guard lasts for another round from him. Heal, bleed resist, blight resist, another guard, flash power, lower accuracy on the enemy. I mean, that's, that's actually not bad. But I'm gonna go for the hit, because we might be able to kill if our abomination goes first. And he's pretty fast. I don't know if he's a faster than a seven. I love that dodge, though. He, he is faster than a seven. He's a nine, but it didn't didn't go that way, did it? Yo, the dodges, dude. <laughs> His base accuracy is a hundred. I don't care for that stun. Like, it doesn't matter. Pistols keep hitting. It looks like one thing that we're kind of missing here is some sort of... Well... Oh, you could have just stabbed her. No, you can't hit the front line or the back line. One thing that we're missing out on is some sort of like ranged-ish hit. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Sorry, not range. Uh, it, like multi-hit. Like we don't have a breakthrough. This is the only thing that really hits uh, two units. This hits two units in the back, but nothing that hits like two units in the front that we can easily use. Slightly unfortunate. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Minor These antique dodge stone. They can be uh, we don't we don't really need a dodge stone. We can get rid of citrine for it. Plus four dodge. It's like it's like get out of here. No one cares. No one cares about your dodge stone. Get that dodge out of here. Ooh, a major antique and another journal page. So we're this rare antique we're gonna keep, and I will get rid of the citrine for that. Journal page. I still think that it's good to keep them so that you can get rid of them and they don't show up anymore in the future. So I might try to do that. And then don't complain at me, Mr. Darkest Dungeon Man, that I'm touching my loot. I have to. I have to touch it. Yeah, goodbye, blood. Brigands in the cove. What are you guys doing here? This is not where you belong. Man, the blight is so good, though. Blanket fire. 
This is really, I think, where we we kind of shine because we can hit the back line with the Eldritch attack. We can hit the back line with the Hellion. We can blight him. We can crit him. It's pretty good. Cool. You can hit the third position slot. I did screw it up before. You're not dead, but now you're dead. I like the Antiquarian just to kind of clean up the mess, you know? They're slow, they move last, they can just get the final killing blow on someone who we didn't get earlier. Okay, we're getting hit kind of a lot. Let's maybe stop that. Really, that just means stun. Slowly. What, what was the chance of that landing? This is how a life is taken. Base chance 100% even upgraded? Really? I thought it upgraded the stun chance, maybe not. Wait, does the does the manacles really not upgrade stun base chance as you level it up? That seems strange to me. You would think that it would. Because otherwise the enemies are gonna outscale the stunning chance, but I don't know, maybe maybe it doesn't. A little weird. Oh, oh well. Uh, let's heal you. Healed for zero, and bled him. Beautiful. <laughs> you love to see it. Uh, I really do. Kind of hope you don't like get yourself killed. So heal up. Thank you. Antiquarian will get the kill for you. <laughs> And then Red Bear Skin got hit and bled themselves. But hey, this is what the occultist is for. You're already ble you're already bleeding. Let's bleed you some more. Well, you can only do this, huh? Did Abe finally get all the pages? I'm trying. I'm trying to get those pages. Heal for zero and bleed. Boy, I certainly do love occultists. They're they're so good. Oh man, why are they so good? Guess up your own bleed resist, I suppose. Oh my lord. I'm I'm gonna stall the crap out of this if I can. This is stupid. Zero heal. And a bleed! Alright! Occultist for the win! What the ever-loving hell is happening? I do need you to not bleed them when you heal them. Why do we tarry? Yeah, we tarry because the occultist. What is your name? Not Bill Murray. Not Bill. Not Bill Murray. Who says in chat, "I am the best doctor." Um, I would like to. The wounds of war. I would like to. Uh, I'd like to get a new doctor, please. You healed for six, and you didn't bleed him. It's something. It's something. Get out of this stupid fight. Good lord. Th that's three in a row. No heal plus bleed. Good god. And one of those got the antiquarian down to death's door. <laughs> Jesus. Well, they also did not disarm the trap, so now they have negative dodge and speed for 12 rounds. Fine. I'll get rid of it. Good freaking lord. Alright, we're going to... I mean, I'm very tempted to go this way for another battle. If anything, it gives me an opportunity to try and do some more healing, but if we have to do more you know, looting to the left anyways, why don't we just go left and do some looting? Well, because the curios could be really good. Alright, I'm gonna do it. I'll camp after this next encounter. And this one's not bad. We didn't get the, oh perfect. We didn't get the stun, the surprise, but that's fine. Ugh. Also CyberGecko64, welcome! A little long time no see, I hope you're doing all right. Decimated. 
You love Darkest Dungeon, glad to see you playing it again. That's the idea, and event eventually we will get to the Color of Madness DLC, I swear. There you go! Where was that? He was hiding it! Good lord. Ugh. He just didn't want to do it in the middle of that fight. He's like, nah, 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 my time to shine will come. Let's do a freaking crit heal for 20. The unit has like 17 HP. It's like a little overkill, you know what I mean? <laughs> and he crits the stress dealer too. <laughs> Good lord. All right, give you uh, low accuracy. Uh, Norton L, welcome, how's it going? What is the most awkward interaction you ever had with a cashier, waiter, or any kind of attendant? Honestly, I've been, I feel like I've been pretty good about that. <laughs> Don't think I've had any, like, awkwardness. CyberGecko asks, how long has the campaign been? This is like mission seven. Oh my god, not to these. He, he only has two types of heals. He's a one or the other kind of a guy, you know what I mean? Destroyed. All right, well, at least we got Seize some money out of that. Uh, I'm gonna say, like, end. F it with the holy water. Probably just dump it. No, dump the bandages. We also don't need the torches. We can hold the money for that. Um, then we're, you know, we're gonna have a lot of stuff coming up. We can, we, we can stall on the rest of that. That's anti-venom. That's very worth it. Uh, without anti-venom, I don't want to use the brackish tide pool. Maybe this works? Nope. Alright. It's anti-venom. We don't have any anti-venom, so we're just going to stall. But what we are going to do is backtrack. And if we starve, we starve. But we have a lot of food. Oh my god. Can't make an omelet without bleeding, some people without healing them. <laughs> says, says not Bill Murray. It would be nice if you could heal a little bit more reliably, just saying. You know, heal for one if you're gonna bleed them or something, you know? Shouldn't have popped the light when I did, whatever. Okay, double scouting? Single scouting. Room battle coming up. Plus a trap. Please disarm the trap. Thank you very much. Okay, we know they're there. Let's try to stun them. And by stun, I mean surprise. Ooh, it's only groupers. So I might want to have the Hellion just immediately do a... 20% crit's pretty good. Uh, just like have them immediately do a stun, like a double stun. Because I'm very worried about these guys just critting the crap out of us and killing us. Now I could just kill one of them. Alright, you got me. It, it might be a little bit better than just stunning one, or two of them, rather. Well, no, because it is a stun on one, because now we have one dead. Technically, it is a little bit better, right? I'm going to give you guard. I don't, want, I don't want her to get crit and get stressed out. And he, he actually has more health than her to begin with, so it's fine. I'm loving the dodge, though. 36 dodge goes a long way, it seems like. He's got 24, and he's still dodging shots left, right, and center. Okay, they are fast. Um, Heal for three. Absolution. It doesn't heal for that much, so I'm not that inclined to use it. It's gonna stall. I know we should probably do the... Well, we don't have to kill him. We can kill him later. Or rather, we can let the Antiquarian get a, a final blow in. The heal is probably more important. We gotta, do, we gotta do healing on several people. So, dodge sucks. We can still deal with it next turn. You're probably gonna get the next heal. That's really close. I was kind of hoping it would kill, but I can't be mad about that. Well, now I can because you got another turn in, but you missed, so who cares? 
Uh, bleeding for three. So this will get a kill and kill corpse. Fair enough. You might as well finish the job here. And recover some stress. Spear fishing. Ah, you might want to heal yourself. This is when you get the, like the good heal, right? Well, it's a heal. <laughs> it's a heal at least. The corpse is gonna die. You might as well heal yourself. Quark's heal is honestly better than the occultist's. <laughs> I'm sorry, not Bill Murray, but it's true. Oh Lord. Okay. Okay, you ready for this? You ready for this? Dude, these heals are killing me. <laughs> like, you gotta do something else, man. I don't know, maybe we can let you live, your stun resist. Ah, I think I just gotta kill you. You have a 21! What? This expedition it's absurd. At least promises success. Okay, we don't have to go up, but there is a couple of, uh, of combats that way. Could camp, or we could keep moving on. Let's, uh, let's keep moving on. Room battle, room battle. We gotta do, we have to do all the room battles. So we have to do one path, backtrack, and then go this way. And then maybe we can just keep the shovel and then use it here on the obstacle. We know that there's not gonna be a, uh... Yeah. Yeah, we know there's not going to be a, uh, a starvation prompt afterwards, so we can do the encounter, hit the battle, and then finish it off with Curio. And then maybe we can camp, like, in the next room battle room or something. We don't need to camp immediately, though. We have one, in one open inventory slot anyways. Nothing. Okay, fair enough. Honestly, for this being like a gold run, we don't have a lot of gold yet. I'm kind of hoping we can get some more. Luckily, though, we, we do get more money from the uh, the antiques and whatnot, but I still would have thought we could have gotten a little bit more. You're dead. Decided. Let's go for these guys. One HP away. You know, maybe kill the high damage dealers this time because we're ob- Oh, you lived! Because we're obviously not doing uh, such a good job at killing the uh, other guys. So. Oh, there's a stress wave. I hate that you get a double stress wave sometimes. That's that's a lot of stress. It's 29 stress right there. The heck? You know what am I gonna do about that? Well, I guess we're just gonna heal for one. I'm never bringing along one of these guys on another one of these missions. This is absurd. <laughs> I can't even kill this guy. I gotta I gotta use like a double stun from the the Hellion. Oh, please don't kill the Hellion. Lower his accuracy. He sucks anyways. Double stun. Live until you can get healed next turn, please. Occultus heals more. Heals better the more you believe in him, says Stormworm. I highly doubt that. <laughs> Because so far, he just straight up sucks. Okay, you're dead, as long as you don't get healed again. Don't heal him. That's probably better. We can stress heal later. In fact, we can stress heal at the very end if we want in order to uh, do that encamp ability from the Hellion. Revel. Healed for four. It's not good enough, dude. She's gonna bleed out soon. Okay, maybe not like really bleed out soon, but maybe at some point. Just like, I don't know, ice this guy. 
Get a kill. As long as he doesn't crit her, we're fine. Even if he does, we're probably gonna move before her. Uh, the problem is no one else has like a heal. No, we have one heal that we can toss out. And that's about it. So this is gonna be heavy stall turn. Is it two to three damage? Everyone's gonna use a heal ability. Heal for eight. That's not that bad. I guess maybe the Hellion should just attack. Yeah, we can kill him, kill him next turn if we get another eight roll. You should heal yourself, I think, right about now. There you go. It's, uh, it's two or 22. There's nothing in between. There's zeros, but that's outside of the range of two and 22. I don't count it. Good lord. Citrine. Or food. I'm not gonna get rid of the food. What's the money situation look like? I like the jades just because I want money. Uh, but I don't want to get rid of the. I don't. I don't want to lose a crest. I will lose one bandage. For a stack of crests, that seems pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And then uh, we'll do this room battle over here. That's what I've been waiting for. The frickin' plant. Now we can get rid of a, uh, a negative quirk here. Like the yips. Guilty conscience is very annoying, but this is mostly... Oh, man. It's like some holy things that you'll interact with with guilty conscience, I think. Prone to investigating the dark arts. I would love to remove that one and automatomophobia. Minus 20% healing received weird reconstruction and the yips. You need to have better heals on you. <laughs> Ascetic. You, we removed the weird reconstruction debuff on the abomination. <laughs> Fine, sure, why not? Oh, I could lose the, the gems. Yeah, but, you know, let's see if we can stack them. I think, okay, I think this is holy water. Maybe. It's it's either holy water or you get a random chance of a buff or a debuff. I forget which. And by forget which, I mean I don't really know which. Sandwich. If you're gonna st stress wave someone, I'm glad you're doing him. I kinda just wish you had a higher chance of actually landing your shots. Unfortunate miss. Uh, let's try to hit the back line. Oh, one shot kill from Quark. Thank you very much. You're actually, like, good. My eyes find all weakness. He did the slash. He did the same word slash. He did the slash. Uh, this, this drowned thrall might, might do some stuff. I gotta, I gotta find a way of dealing with him. Although I suppose one more blight attack will get him, which is what we need. Good dodge. I'm loving the dodge, you know. Turns out being able to like completely negate all the incoming damage by just, you know, having a random roll is pretty strong. You're down four HP, you don't need a heal. Here. After four turns of this, that'll get you right. <laughs> that'll set you right. <laughs> oh. I guess we'll just do this because we have a moment. And it's stress relief. If we can get him to like 10, then he should heal to zero, or like very low levels on a camp. All right, well, I mean, we tried. Game's probably gonna get all pissy that we're missing, but not much we can do about it. I mean, we're missing 
with everyone except for this guy because I'm just gonna use him to heal himself. But now we're gonna hit with everyone else. Octosastus. Uh, yeah, I'll heal that. Again, the game might count this as a stall, but honestly, whatever. You do you. I hope it doesn't count manacles as a stall, because it's like, it's his attack. <coughs> cuff, cuff. And the Antiquarian, the most lethal unit on the squad, Red Bearskin, with another kill. Chopping up these... Eldritch abominations, one at a time. Let's, uh... And insidious killer. Take the loot. I think this is a good camp opportunity. Now, camping skills. We could use Revel minus accuracy and speed for a few battles, but it's a lot of stress reduction. The problem is not everybody needs the stress reduction, so it might just be better to do targeted stress healing. Uh, but we also need to do Unspeakable Commune. So what if we do this? to raise stress, and then this to lower the stress. A jug for each of us, we live only once, time to enjoy it. And then, keep removing stress. So stress is down to single digits on everybody, and then what if we, what if we just buff somebody with I don't know what, and then we just buff, 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 buff. Not a lot that we need, need buffing on, I mean, 10% crit is kind of nice, and then with one point remaining, minus 50% stress. I kind of like that as one point remaining ability right there. All right, and then, you know what? Screw you. I think it's holy water. I don't have holy water. So we're just gonna move along, backtrack, do the last room battle, that'll be the end of the quest, and uh, then if we hold on to a shovel, we can you know do the obstacle battle curio afterwards, just in case we want to. I don't have to, but maybe there's something there we want. Maybe we'll get some more loot, some more money! After all, this is a bit of a gold mission. And the stress so far has been pretty low. Another, oh, okay. I was gonna say another one of those big corals, please. The answer is no. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. A torch, the promise of safety. Let me do it for you. If you're not doing it, let me do it. This is not that bad of a fight. The uh, the snail, I'm not really that big of a of a worry a worrier about because it's just a little snail. Just a, a wee little snail. He's very happy. He ha he's happy he had a drink, so he's doing some crits now. <laughs> oh, the hellion is so good. You missed, but you're drunk, so it, it actually is. You know, kind of understandable. Impressive. Red Bearskin with another crit. It's weird how often antiquarians can crit. Hmm. I guess the blight will hit both. Still not quite enough for a kill. You'll be dead next turn, and you're gonna have another chance to spearfish. But you missed. 23 dodge is apparently enough. Why is your dodge so high? Tw Why was it 23 a minute ago? Oh, you crit, so you actually have 10 higher dodge. Oh, that's like, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's good to know. Oh, sweet. All right. I should have hit the C maggot. What am I thinking? I mean, what we probably should do is just a yawp. Antiquarians are coward Abe. That is how they do. I didn't, I just didn't think, I don't know. I guess I just didn't think, let's be honest. I didn't think he, I didn't think they would have that much dodge, but they do. I just gotta, I just gotta stab this maggot. And Hellion, crit for six. Aww. 
Six is still, <coughs> excuse me, six is still pretty low, but it would have just, just meant that's a one hit KO on that turn instead. Are you dead? You're dead. Oh, sweet. Uh, let's heal by one. Buff your bleed resist, and then, uh, okay, all cultists didn't go, but in theory they maybe could have. Bandage busts. Okay. There's one combat remaining. I'm gonna dump the torches, take the busts, continue adventuring, and then we're gonna do the last remaining bit. It's one combat, Another mariner. and one curio. I don't Another know what the curio misfortune. is, I don't know what the combat is, but I think it's probably worth it to do it just to see what we get. And I'm gonna try to remember to snuff the torch right before we finish it. It's ju it just gives us a little, little tiniest bit of extra cash. Probably worth doing. Maybe not, probably worth doing. Okay, a little bit of an overkill, but I, I appreciate it nonetheless. It's a torch. We still get loot from it when the Antiquarian touches it, though, so that's still worth 500 gold right there. And if we lower light, maybe we'll get something else. So weirdly enough, it's still worth doing. Especially if we get good loot out of this combat, and so far this combat is going just fine. So let me just, uh, snuff out that torch. It gets us another crit, too. I think we've lost stress doing this. And, uh... You miss, but that's fine. It's just a sea maggot. Okay, well, I mean, you could please hit the sea maggot. Okay, we get a lot of stuff, and then we do the last remaining element here. Or is it merely? We didn't get anything, but we could have. You know, we could have. All right, let's leave. We, we've we've completed the whole mission. At last, wholesome marine life can flourish. How much money do we get? So we picked up 18 grand plus four and a half plus the armlet. It's actually not that bad. We get Lurker, plus damage if the torch is below 26, so you're part of the Shambler crew, welcome aboard. And healing skills while camping, you're not much of a healer, and you tend to have enough health anyways because you can heal yourself, but I'll accept it. Dun, 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 dun. Be sure to check the activity log. I'm guessing bugs. A fresh mm. irritant to some. A sanguine memory to me. The discoverer sadly has perished from innumerable insect bites. The town is a buzz. Yeah, I know. New quirk, known cheat. Covered 50 stress. Recovered 50 stress. Was given a trinket as a gift. Verdacula has impressed the abbot with piety and, is, and was given a trinket as a gift. So they were... Oh, stun charm, whatever. They were, um, praying. Did they pray for two weeks, or was it, were they only praying for one week? Improve stress reduction while meditating and while camping. Meditate and recover 41 stress. Okay. No rabies on milk jug anymore. Acceptable, 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 acceptable. All right, and uh, people have leveled up beyond level one. Oh man, Milk Jug still needs stress relief. Go ahead. <clears throat> Excuse me. You also still need stress relief. Go ahead. Who else needs more stress relief? Dragon Breaker still needs stress relief. Will only gamble is not allowed to gamble. That can happen. You can only do one thing and then you can't do it again? All right, well, uh, Dragon Breaker is gonna have to remove known cheat so that they can actually, you know, do stress relief. Very unusual. Uh, any more stress? I thought they, I thought that couldn't happen. I thought you could always do something on your roster. Annoying. Uh, and then, hey, another boss, the Sodden Crew. If we want a Virtue Chance ring, which is really good, we could keep going to the cove. But I kind of want to go somewhere else at some point. Ah, the padlock of transference is insanely good. It's only beneficial. It's better stun and blight on the abomination when that's like their 
primary two abilities in human form. We're gonna go to the Warrens because it's really good and I want it. So we're gonna send the dog because we need the dog with his beast and bleed ability. It's actually pretty good. I feel like we should also bring along a Jester. I feel like we should also bring along a Flagell. I actually do like, I, I actually really like this sort of a lineup for the Warrens because you have great bleeding abilities. You have a good ability to uh, to heal kind of with the flagellant, bleed himself, damage himself, exsanguinate in order to do the heal uh, on himself while also doing damage. You have stress relief. You have a great stunner. The only question is who goes in the back, and I think maybe just like a an arbalist, but we already have an arbalist. Um, who I don't really want to get leveled up anymore. So anyone who's at level zero who can go in the back would be acceptable. Not a leper. If we can't find anyone, then we could still do this rolling the Houndmaster in the back. Uh, and then we could just run like a, a leper in the front or something. Ruins Tactician, Weld Scrounger. Uh, stress Reliever, Photomania, Prison Strike, anyone with Warren's abilities? Heck, you know, we could just bring along the Antiquarian again. Do another kind of, you know, gold run in the Warrens. It, it's probably not going to be too bad. She's got decent abilities. It's like, it's not, it's not that bad of, a, of an idea, I feel. Reynald could go to the Warrens. Minus stress in the Warrens. Kleptomaniac, God-fearing. I hate kleptomania. It's been a while since he's been out. Since he's been out on a mission, he's not that good in the Warrens. Like he gets a bonus to killing skeletons. Like that's about it. Cabbage boxes. Oh, but you're, we're going to a blight place. We don't have good blight trinkets, and it's just stressed down. Yeah. Okay. I think this is fine. So I'm tempt again, I'm still tempted to just jump in with the Antiquarian, but you know, this gives us the opportunity, I, f I think, to get uh, the Leper to level one and then other people to level two. Well, the Flagellant will get to level two. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Uh, do we have a Vestal? We do have another Vestal. We could bring them along. No, the Flagellant performs well here. I don't want to mess with that. 25 deeds, 26 crests. Um, how expensive would it be to transfer crests into deeds? Very. Not feasible. All right, so we're, we might have to... I really don't want to, like, remove anyone. <laughs> I really like this ability on the Jester, too. You know what? It is done. Turn yourself now to the condition of those poor devils who remain. No one say anything. No one say anything. All right, so flagellant, leper. Do we really need the leper? Well, the leper should be in the front, I suppose. Flagellant in the second slot. Jester in the third, that works fine. Houndmaster in the back. If you're in the back, you could cry havoc for stress relief while the Jester just stabs people. It's, that seems like a pretty good one. <laughs> you could also technically have a self heal so that if you need to, you can heal yourself. Because the Leper can have a stress heal in case, or a heal stress heal in case we need it. The only one who wouldn't have a personal heal in case we need it is the Jester. And that way, the Flagellant is not all, is not the only healer for the Warrens. You know, we'll have a backup. It's low level skills, we don't need to pay for it that much. So we'll get the Solemnity. We don't need Revenge. We don't really need Intimidate. It's a massive debuff, but we're not really at the point when we, uh, when we really need it. So we're gonna get that. You, dog boy. Let's get Cry Havoc. Hounds Rush, Hounds Harry, Cry Havoc, Heal. And then that's gonna be your loadout here. I like having these just in case 
uh, we do need to apply the heal. Then! Yes, for the stress, for the harvest, for the slice, and probably for the dirk. I usually don't run solo finale builds as jesters. The uh, Battle Ballad's an interesting one, but I, I think it's a very minor benefit, although it is kind of a good benefit. I'd rather just do damage, though. But I like having the uh, the bleed abilities that can hit the middle line, Dirk Stab in case for some reason we need to uh, to reposition, and then, you know, just Inspiring Tune is a, is a great ability. But if we have... I was gonna say, if we have the Houndmaster, we could use the Jester for that, but I think we're, we'll be okay. And then you just, you already have the abilities that you need. So finally, we have the money. Continuously upgrade everybody, because it, it needs to be done. It's expensive. It gets expensive, man. Now before we finish this off, a couple more things to do before I forget. We do need to... It's very expensive. We do need to get skills, namely if there's one that is... Prevent Nighttime Ambush, which we do have access to. It's this one. Let's buy it. All Companions Negative Stress. That is so good. That's good. Okay. So that's um, camping skills. We're already, like, nearing out of money. Arbalest? That Arbalest, uh, very rare trinket. Very good. Very expensive. There's also the uh, Color of Madness trinkets, which I haven't even looked at. Some of these are really good. I know they are. We'll deal with those at some point. Trinkets! Everyone's favorite. Sword by rarity. Damage, speed, and dodge if torch is high. I don't know, give it to you. Damage up, seems okay. Give you even more damage up, beautiful. Trap disarm chance and scouting. Give it to you, the hound master. And honestly, maybe even just give him the uh, the other scouting and trap disarm chance book as well. Then we'll never, ever, 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 ever be surprised. The Jester. Do we have anything that's bleed resist? No. <laughs> I'll find one at some point, and then I will give it to the Flagellant. But for now, we'll give him high speed if his HP is low, and... This is still kind of okay. Because it still means that he can apply his bleed to enemies. Even though it doesn't do anything to his, his applying bleed to himself. Although I need to get some sort of a bleed thing for- Oh wait, we have the leper armlet thing, right. Let's get that in there. Wait, healing received? No, we got a better one. Where is it? Plus accuracy, plus crit. We have two of them? I guess we got one of them from a mission. I didn't pay attention, did we? Um, but yeah, that's that's perfectly fine. Plus stress, but he has a stress heal. Um, better accuracy is very nice, especially combined with better damage. Okay. Jester, you can have damage, speed, and dodge. Jester can also have... a lot better dodge. So he's gonna have 40 dodge. He's gonna be very hard to hit. Which is, which actually, it, it works, because he's the one who does not have a personal heal, everyone else does, so now he's the one who, if the enemies target, they're gonna have a hard time hitting him. I kinda think that's okay. Okay, and uh, and there we go. I think that's the, the squad for the Warrens. So we can get this weird padlock. Okay. <coughs> oh god, excuse me. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of the Darkest Dungeon. The next, the next mission of the Darkest Dungeon.